Uh, thank you very much. I have started. Okay, um, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Santiago. I'm a PhD at, at Theid and University of Navarra in Spain, which has worked in the project the use of NLB and DLT to enable the digitalization of the telecom running agreement. And first of all, I want to thank uh, to thank to, to the project mentors, Ahmed, Mohammed, and Nareddin. Now I want to uh, I want to start with uh, an overview of the running agreement concept. Okay, running operation ensure business continuity and ubiquitous system access to the end customer across various technologies stack, including the new technologies like 5D and IoT. Um, in addition, roaming agreement addresses the technical and commercial components necessary to enable the service uh, to a roaming customer so that it constitutes an essential part uh, of the business, uh, you know, managing issues such as uh, management of um, interoperation shares. And therefore, uh, conducting uh, a dynamic and transparent roaming agreement drafting process uh, ensures an adequate monetization and advan an advantage for telco companies. So the necessity of the project comes from problems detected in the roaming agreement drafty, drafting process, sorry, which include, first, uh, the roaming agreement negotiation is manual, slow, and untrustworthy. And in addition, the GCMA approach for world sale roaming initiative is, uh, you know, is generalist in terms of negotiation and drafting of the roaming agreement. So it's lacks of standardization uh, in terms of the drafting and negotiation. So there, there is a necessity to establish a framework that provide capabilities such as provide the fine grain methodology that digitize the roaming agreement drafting process, in addition to, to promote a transparent negotiation process uh, between mobile network operators, and, and finally to ensure the traceability in the roaming agreement drafting process. Um, these properties is ensured by blockchain, but right now we integrate uh, blockchain technology with other technologies such as uh, natural language processing can cover these capabilities. For this reason, the two main uh, project objectives are, first of all, build a library that will capture the different variation and variables that construct a telecom running agreement. And the second one is to build a proof of concept based on a set of a smart contract that will automate the process of drafting and negotiation. Uh, the reference architecture that we present include uh, you know, not only participant entities, but also the functionality that they perform through the application life cycle. Um, first, the, the entity that participate in the roaming agreement are composed by two mobile networks operator and the GCMA as administrator. Um, there are functions that they perform in common, such as uh, the maintenance of the hyperledger public blockchain network, and the participation in the consensus. But particularly, uh, the mobile network operator negotiates and drafts the roaming agreement among themselves, maintaining the privacy of the information and using the NLP engine to create a template which be used as part of the drafting process. And finally, the GCMA is in charge of the registration of the mobile network operator the network monitoring and the audit and accountability of the roaming agreement conducted between two mobile networks operators. The project implementation is based on a set of microservice uh, using Docker infrastructure. Um, the same three entity that we mentioned has been established for the roaming agreement drafting. I mean, two mobile networks operator and the ECMA as a central authority. It should be noted um, how GCMA is the administrator and the maintainer of a set of services, including you know, the front end, the NLP engine, the Kibana, Grafana, Prometheus, and Swagger. 
And, and finally, one of the most remarkable points of this project is the integration with other open source projects that belong to the Hyperlayer uh, mentoring program. Uh, specifically, uh, the project analyzing Hyperlayer public ledger transaction and logs using Elasticsearch and Kibana. The project derivables include, uh, first of all, a series of medium articles uh, explaining the main project vision, main concepts, and the proposed design approach. The second one is the NLP model that extracts the main feature of the telecom agreement template as a set of variation and variables. The next uh, deliverable is the chain code that automates and maps the business process of the agreement drafting and negotiation. The, the next um, deliverable is the architectural design document of the system. The next one is a simple user interface as proof of concept that will show the step of the agreement drafting. And finally, to publish, to publish an academic conference uh, or journal paper uh, with the main finding of the project. As you can see in the product screenshot, all the result has been successfully committed, accepted for the publication of the JavaScript library in NPM, which had to be included as part of the future work. Uh, the recommendation for future work are, uh, first of all, to build a model based on uh, one open source library, such as Spacey, um, a drafting library in JavaScript package and publish it as NPM package. Uh, the full API monitoring with Prometheus and Grafana, the contextualization of the traceability of the roaming agreement negotiation between two mobile network operators through the visualization tool, the definition and the establishment of, uh, of an audit and accountability layer for the system, and finally, to ensure the information privacy between two mobile network operators using the private data collection of hyperlayer for reduction. Um, right now, we have a quick uh, demonstration uh, for, the, for the system. Um, okay, first of all, you can see the transaction committing once the chain code was installed and instantiated. Right now, it's one intent to access for the user, but it is necessary first that GCMA register administrator and GCMA register user of mobile network operator. Right now, the user one can register the uh, mobile network operator. The transaction right now is committed into the ledger and can be verified. Next, the user two register the mobile network, the second mobile network operator. And again, the transaction is committed into the ledger. Next, the roaming agreement is registered. Now, the mobile network operators available can be listed. User one needs to confirm the roaming agreement proposal. The transaction also is confirmed. Next, an article is proposed by the mobile network operator that include variables. And also variations. The transaction is copied into the letter and the article, as you can see, is added into the pipeline. The mobile network operator can't attend, but it cannot uh, modify the same article proposal. The other user is able to modify. Right now is at some changes. As you can see, the status of the article is updated. Now the user number one can accept the proposition. 
the transaction is committed into the ledger. The same user can propose another article as part of the draft, drafting process, sorry. The article is included in the pipeline. Now, again, it cannot accept its own change. So the user two proposed to reach one agreement. This, in this case, the user two accept the two uh, changes proposed by user one. And now user two is able to um, to propose uh, to propose to reach an agreement. This one, okay. They send the proposal, and now the user one can accept this proposal for sure if it agree with all conditions. And finally, the transaction has been committed successfully to the to the blockchain. Um, okay. Okay. Uh, let me continue. No. Wait. Okay. Um, the insights uh, gained around the project is first of all, um, the roaming agreement principles was studied, studied and, and knowledge. Uh, the second one was the, the knowledge in, in, in a new field for me, that is the another language processing. The third one is to improve my ability as researcher. Um, in addition, I gain the ability to write properly million articles. Um, in addition, I gain the ability to integrate different programming language technologies and paradigms such as you know, Docker, Golang, Node.js, Python, React.js, uh, NLB, uh, Hyperlayer Fabric Blockchain for sure, Prometheus, Grafana, Elasticsearch, all using the methodologic uh, continuous integration and continuous delivery. Um, in addition, I work according to tile schedules. And final, I think that is very important for me, the integration with other hyperlayer mentoring program. In this case, the analyzing hyperlayer fabric ledger transaction and logs using Elasticsearch and Kibana. At this point, I want to thank to my mentors, the knowledge and the skill gain are thanks to them. Thank you, Santiago, for the presentation and the great demo uh, to see things live. Uh, that is so great. And also just, you know, the uh, how you leveraged actually uh, a previous uh, Hyperledger mentorship project um, results as well. So that's great to see the connection there. Uh, I know your mentor, Ahmed, uh, he's still here. Thank you for staying this long. Do you have anything to comment or add? Mohammed. We also have uh, Noreddin and- Yes, hi, can you hear me at all? Yes. Yeah, this is Noreddin. I think Ahmed is away or busy. So uh, my name is Noreddin Sadawi. I'm a senior lecturer and conduct developer at the University of London. I specialize in machine learning, deep learning and that area. Mm -hmm. uh, I was really happy to be one of Santiago's mentors. He's done a really fantastic job. He's learned a lot. He's worked to you know, tight schedules. He was busy with his PhD, which he passed successfully. So he's officially a doctor now, which is great. I'd like to thank the Hyperledger community for making these uh, opportunities available. Really great job to see people from all over the world doing using blockchain technology for different purposes. So I'd like to congratulate Santiago and all other students and, uh, and mentees for their impressive work. Santiago specifically, because I was mentoring him, uh, he learned a lot uh, in a short period of time. We were all down and we had some doubts and stuff, but he made it happen, putting mm -hmm. all the uh, platforms together, especially like you mentioned, Min, when he reused some existing stuff from pre previous projects. This is one of the points I loved about what he's done. Mm -hmm. So I'd like to, again, thank him. Thank you all and say well done, everyone. Yep. Thank you. I, I would add a 
big plus one to what you said. You know, it's just so great to see, you know, uh, mentees from all over the world, mentors from all over the world participating in this program uh, and, and just, yeah, see the blockchain use cases in so many different areas. Uh, so it's just so fantastic to see this.